question with this project has to do with, um, first of all, always goes with the script. Um, and behind, behind the Candelabra was simply one of the best screenplays I'd seen in a long time. Always been a big fan of Richard Legravenet's. So you read a really good script, and they're asking to play Liberace, um, which you don't get a chance to do every other day. Uh, and then, oh, by the way, Steven Soderbergh uh, is going to be directing it. And, uh, oh, yes, and your co-star and your lover is Matt Damon. Liberace was a one-time, the, the biggest star probably in, in America. Certainly, he was in Las Vegas, the highest paid performer. He was a very, very good pianist, a great classical pianist, um, but realized by changing the classic versions of certain pieces, it became much more entertaining for an audience. And he progressively developed kind of a campy style with the candelabra candles on the piano, and when he did his TV show, he was the first person on television to look directly into the camera to bring that audience into, uh, into the room with him. And, and he had a generally very optimistic and, and, and positive, uh, warm personality, and, and was, was, was very astute, very smart, and, and um, he just actually, like a lot of a lot of men who like, uh, you know, young blondes, girls, Lee loved young blonde guys, you know? Very quickly, we, I think we both found um, uh, kind of a, a style together and knew that we had, you know, the script called for us to be attracted to each other. And once you have your first big kiss and break ice, you know, and look and give each other a hug and say, here we go, buddy. And um, I must say, because everybody always asks me, well, do you, you, you kiss Matt Damon? I said, baby, I do a lot more than that. And I said, well, this is an intriguing story because it's a great love story. Um, and people are, I think, always love a good love story. The fact that it takes place between two men, you know, the issues that they deal with what happens are completely universal, and we sort of realize that as we were making it. And the fact is, between Matt and I, uh, I was think I think I'm most proud about and Matt is that you, you forget about us pretty quickly, and you pretty quickly also forgets two guys, and you're just watching about a relationship between two people who love each other a lot, but whether they're men and men or a man and a woman, they're having the same kind of struggles and. In, in same fights, um, but of course, all told against a great, colorful background, backdrop of Las Vegas, and pretty exciting time. Candelabra is about um, the, really the relationship between uh, Liberace, who was the number one entertainer on the planet, and a young um, guy um, who became his. Uh, you know, really the love, the love of his life. Scott the, is the character that I play, that is a young guy, and, and he, uh, you know, he was a guy who would, you know, bounced around from uh, foster home to foster home, and he was somebody who, uh, you know, fell up, f very much fell in love with, with, uh, with the, this guy who happened to be the biggest kind of showman on earth at a time when that kind of uh, uh, relationship had to be kept secret, and, um, and, uh, and so that put an even greater pressure on their relationship, besides the kind of power imbalance and, and, you know, the dynamic that was specific to them. They also had the added pressure of, of, uh, of trying to live in the closet. Well, another reason I wanted to do the movie was um, I, couldn't, I, I couldn't have the opportunity to play opposite Michael Douglas as Liberace and pass it up. Um, I just knew that... You know, in reading the script, this was a the, roles like this just don't come along, and the role of Scott was was just also just wonderful, and 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 uh, but but also as a fan of movies, I didn't want to miss uh, having a front row seat to 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 Michael uh, playing Liberace. Yeah, this was the first uh, 
movie that I ever enjoyed wardrobe fittings on. You know, I did probably, I don't know, eight, ten wardrobe fittings, and we really got into it. It was real fun. The, the clothes were so different from anything that I'd ever put on, and they changed me so much. And, uh, and I could see they suddenly could make me stand or walk or move a different way. Like, I, I really got into it. Their relationship was really complicated. But full of love and it was intense and it was it was absurd there are moments that are just absurd for me it just kind of made me think about the absurdity of all of our relationships and how if you put a camera on any intimate relationship it would probably seem a little absurd and, and intense and, and joyful and uh, tragic there are moments in this movie where if, if this were a marriage between a husband and a wife you know, you'd look at it and go, this is a little too intimate, maybe I shouldn't be watching this. But it's between two men, and, and I've never seen that movie, so I'm really proud to be in it. Ladies and gentlemen, the star of the show, Literachi! You are incredible. A companion, a bodyguard. Is this the kind of life you want for yourself? He's lonely. All I do is give and give and give. I think maybe this was a mistake. I can't live like this. Stop it.